Hi friends, welcome to World. In this video, we are going to solve this Pika Tracer activity. Configure dynamic NAT. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any technical support or any CCNA online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, back to this activity. Here we can see the objectives. Part 1, configure dynamic NAT. Part 2, verify NAT implementation. We will go through the instructions. Part 1, configure dynamic NAT. Step 1, configure traffic that will be permitted. On R2, configure one statement for ACL1 to permit any address belonging to the 172.16.0.0 slash 16 network. Coming to our topology, here we can see our router R2, uh, which is connecting to this internet and uh, to this uh, uh, network. And we are going to configure an access control list uh, so that that ACL will permit uh, this uh, network 172.16.0.0. Coming to this router R2, CLI, enable, conf t, and here we will create the access list. Access list, we will give a 1. Permit network 172.16.0.0 Then we have to specify its wildcard mask 0.0.255.255 Then press enter Coming to step 2 Configure a pool of address for NAT Configure R2 with a NAT pool that uses two addresses in the 209.165.200.228 slash 30 address space. Notice in the topology there are three network addresses that would be translated based on the ACL created. Okay, what will happen if more than two devices attempt to access the internet? Obviously, the additional device will be denied access until one of the previous translations timed out, freeing up an address to use. Right, here we will configure R2 with a NAT pool that uses these two addresses from this uh, network address space. So we will do that configuration in this router R2. We will give the command IP NAT pool, then we will uh, give a name. I will give uh, my pool. Then we will give that uh, addresses, two addresses. 209.165.200.229 just I will copy this address so that we can give the next address that is 230 so we can see uh, 229 and uh, 230 okay also we have to specify its a uh, net mask it's a uh, 255.255.255.252 Next we will go to step 3 Associate ACL1 with the NAT pool Enter the command that associates ACL1 with the NAT pool that you just created Actually just now we created as um, you know a my pool right So we have to uh, associate with the ACL1 Again, we will go to R2 and here we will give that command IP NAT inside source list that what we created it is 1. Then we have to specify the pool and its uh, pool name. Uh, here we can see we created my pool. So we have to give that name here. My underscore pool then press enter. In step 4, configure the NAT interfaces. Yeah, we have to configure inside and uh, outside. 
configure R2 interfaces with the appropriate inside and outside NAT commands. Okay, uh, here in this topology, we can see these interfaces uh, in this router R2. That is a serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1. So this IP NAT will be inside. And here we can see a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here this IP NAT will be outside. Coming to the configuration in this router R2. We will go to uh, that interfaces and uh, we will give outside or inside. Uh, first of all, we will go to interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have seen uh, this is uh, outside IP NAT outside then we will go to interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and this is IP NAT inside now coming to part 2 verify NAT implementation step 1 access services across the internet from the web browser of L1, PC1 or PC2. Here we can see those devices L1, PC1 or PC2 from this uh, uh, private uh, network. Access the web page for server 1. So we can see the server 1 is in the internet. We will uh, try to access from this uh, laptop L1. So here we will go to desktop web browser and we will give this uh, uh, server 1 IP address 209.165.201.5 then click go and here we can see server 1 welcome to server 1 so here we get the web page step 2 view NAT translations view the NAT translations on R2 Identify the internal source address of the PC and the translated address from the NAT pool in the command output. We have to give this command show IP NAT translations. Coming to R2, we will give end so that we will go to privileged exit mode. Here we will give this a show command show IP NAT translations. Here we can see the output protocol is a TCP because uh, we accessed a web page and here we can see the private IP address inside the local 172.16.11.1 this is the IP address of this uh, laptop L1 and uh, here we can see they taken this uh, port number 1025 and here we can see this uh, inside global address and we given two addresses for that uh, 229 and uh, 230 here we can see those address we given IP NAT pool and these addresses these two addresses we given and here we can see outside local address the IP address of our uh, server and here also we can see the port number uh, 80 this is for HTTP here this private IP address is uh, not routed in the internet uh, we configured NAT so this uh, private IP address is uh, translated to this uh, inside global address that is this a uh, public IP address and this public IP address is uh, taken to this internet okay perfect so that's all in this uh, activity configure dynamic NAT and here we can see our completion status uh, it shows 100% now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this uh, packet tracer activity that is a configuring dynamic NAT please comment below or you can contact our team using our website link you will get from the description below and if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned we will meet again with the next video thank you